Well, an exciting time again. Once more, the Baron Bis uh, the Biscuit Baron delivery has arrived. Um, I don't have Jennifer here with me this weekend. She's um, with her mom right now. Mom is doing very well after open heart surgery, but she shouldn't be alone just yet. So um, I thought that I would just do uh, a self video. We'll hope it doesn't be too long or ridiculous or anything like that. Anyway, um, I guess it'll show that I act just as goofy when I'm on my own as I do when I'm with uh, my roommate. But it's new biscuits, so I have reason to be goofy. Anyway, um, I did cut open the wrapping around the box just so you don't have to see me being outwitted by scissors. But I wanted to get the entire reaction on camera just so people can experience the joy of biscuits with me. Oh, this is very exciting. And again, I'm being outwitted. Not by scissors. Nope, but by a little gray bag. Oh my goodness, really. How, how difficult is this that I have to be... Oh, okay, there's a little bit of tape here. Now I feel a little bit better that it wasn't just my being silly. It was, in fact, that it was connected to the box. Oh, okay. Now, I think this is reversed with the way I'm filming this. So um, it reads, The Biscuit Baron, Dunk and Discover. I think that's beautiful. Anyway, uh, so, oh, it's got a little, okay, this is so cute. Look, it's like a little suitcase. How adorable is that? That's new. Oh, Fraser and Sophie are so creative. I love that. I'm sure they're the ones who came up with it. Those are the people who do the Biscuit Baron stuff. Anyway, so a little bit of tape on that. And we have <gasps> biscuits from Poland. Oh, okay. My friend Andy is, is Polish by descent. So I'm sure he's going to be thrilled with this. I don't know if he's going to be thrilled, but I'm going to pretend like he's going to be thrilled with this. I'm going to be thrilled. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. Okay. Anyway. So, um, I am going to open this to, yep, see there's, there's Fraser and Sophie right there. So, well done, Fraser and Sophie. Um, Guide to Poland and its History and Food. Oh, this is going to be a lot of fun to read. And this is, oh, it's a wooden church. I know that there were some really beautiful wooden churches in, um, in Scandinavia. And that's just gorgeous, isn't it? Look at that. That'd be something to go see. Um, anyway, let me get to the biscuits themselves. So that way... <gasps> recipe for pierogi! Okay, pierogi. Seriously, one of the most delicious foods in the world. All that carb wrapped around filling that often includes carb that's done with fat. I, I can't think of anything better, really. Carbs and fat. Yeah. Okay, so... Here are the cookies, and or biscuits, rather. So let me see if I can find the one that's on this first page. First one is Jizeki Coconut. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is it. Okay. So the first one, Jizeki Coconut, um, Yuziki. Yuziki is how it's pronounced. Spiky appearance thanks to many ingredients packed um, into them. Crunchy peanuts, mounds of caramel. Oh, and evidently the Polish word yes is for hedgehog. So it means little hedgehogs. How cute is that? Well, that looks delicious. I'm going to enjoy those. All right. And then chocolate delicacies. Oh. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I think it's appropriate that the window there is heart-shaped. That looks yummy. Biscuit bites remind us of little brownies, but with a twist, a distinct gingerbread flavor. Oh, now that sounds good. And then it has a smooth, creamy layer with jam inside, all coated in a delicious chocolate coating. Wow. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm looking forward to that one, too. I'm not sure there are many of the biscuits I, I haven't looked forward to trying. Um... Some more than others, but 
All right, so let me see here. Um, taco bees. Oh, okay. Uh, classic, slightly more plain biscuit from one of Poland's largest sweet companies. These biscuits are light bites with a spongy texture. I bet these would be particularly dunkable. I think that when you get to the rating sheet in the back of the um, Biscuit Digest, dunkable would be probably the highest mark on this. And I don't mind a plain biscuit. I really don't. I like that. I think it's nice that you just have something... Really nice and mellow to go with your tea. Um, all right. Oh, wait. Those are Danube waves. Wait a second. I looked at the wrong things for the chocolate delicacies. Let me find the correct ones for the chocolate delicacies. Here we go. These are the brownie ones. My mistake. I'm so sorry. These are the brownie ones. And you can see that they're the same company. The other ones I showed you are actually the Danube waves. And this has a, a crisp wafer with soft, mellow filling and a sweet toffee flavor, supposedly representing the water waves of the River Danube. Now, this is not the first time we've had a biscuit that's supposed to represent the waves of the Danube. That's right, Ellie. I have a visiting Springer Spaniel here, Ellie. She's um, actually there are two of them. But Ellie's the one who has something to say right now. I'm not sure why she's talking. It's okay, Els. You're okay. We'll send this video to your mom. I'm sure she'll be thr thrilled to hear your voice. Um, oh, avocado marble cookies. Okay, okay. Hang on just a second here. Oh, my gosh. So, avocado is, um, is a liqueur that I have yet to be able to find. Um, and I would really like to try it, not only because I understand it's a really lovely liqueur, but also because I have some recipes um, for cakes made with avocado, which I think is great. And evidently it's very much a classic Christmas type of thing. So I'm thinking maybe what eggnog was originally supposed to be before it became just a really sweet, milky drink that's used uh, in lattes around here, but in the winter time. Anyway, but I'm looking forward to trying this again. Surprise. Um, let's see. Tago gingerbreads. Oh, this is interesting. Um, a tasty, soft gingerbread cookie, lightly spiced with warm spices, filled with a mixed fruit jam. Cherry flavors are prominent here and make for an indulgent treat. Oh, cherry. Oh, cherry. It's cherry season here in Washington, but with the weather the way you've had, I don't know, we're going to get a lot of cherries this year. But we'll see how that goes. Um, I agree, Ellie. It is upsetting. Okay. Tago. Oh, here we go. Vanilla rolls. So these sound a little bit, little bit broken. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? Anyway, um, but I think these are like the wafer rolls, and they're vanilla. Again, I think there's nothing wrong with a lovely vanilla flavor. Vanilla is hard to pull off, really. When you're doing things, say with uh, dietary restrictions, or if you're trying to do something that's lower calorie, that kind of thing. Vanilla will really show every flaw in whatever it is you're making. All right. And then Gorlocky Milk Wafer. That's interesting. Um, okay. Relatively new brand in the Polish sweet market. This brand solely makes what is hugely pro popular in Poland, wafer snacks. I had no idea that wafer snacks were hugely popular in Poland. The things you learn. I think that's great. I mean, who wouldn't like a wafer snack? I like wafer snacks. I don't even live in Poland. No, I like them. That makes sense. Okay. All right. But again, classic milk flavor. One of their best selling flavor, top selling flavors. Okay. And then the last one are the Idlewise cookies because they look like little flowers. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. Um, fruit Idlewise after the flower, they somewhat resemble. <laughs> somewhat resemble. Crumbly shortcake biscuit and a delicious jam center. You can't have just one. I think that's probably true. I don't have a problem with that either. <laughs> well, other than there are only so many I can eat before I get sick. So, all of these look really, really good. And I just realized that they also give you an ingredients list. So, if you're not just allergic to some of the big allergy allergens, if you've got something that's a little bit more unusual in your allergen list you can make sure that you're not taking anything eating anything that could cause you to become ill so oh poland quiz oh my gosh look at this it's a quiz 
I love quizzes. We'll have to try that later. And then puzzle time. I'm going to have to find the missing piece there. I'm not good at jigsaws. That might have to go to somebody else to do. Even though there are, is only one spot there. Maybe I can figure it out. <gasps> Word search and crossword as well. I mean, it just keeps getting better. Oh my goodness. And then here we go. The rating and the biscuits. The rating. And then this last one is seven most famous inventions from Poland. Okay. The movie projector was invented in Poland. Thank you, Poland. Bulletproof vest. That's, that's good to have. Uh huh. Especially for the people who need to have bulletproof vests. Um, the walkie talkie. Huh. Who knew? The paraffin lamp. Okay. Excellent. Um, the mind detector. Oh, well, it saves a lot of lives, I hope. Um, movie sound. Okay. So not only was the movie projector done, but then later it was improved upon with the sound. And the windshield wiper. Mm, here, that's important, isn't it? Okay. So, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And actually, you get to rate these. We can rate this. I'm very excited. So... All these very exciting possibilities for biscuits. Three of the same brand. So clearly this is a big brand. And then Tago's also very, very big there. Oops, I got another one of these. So we have four of the JIW. We've got three of the Tago. One of the, the hedgehogs, and then one of the wafer, the new one. This is going to be exciting. I'll report back how things taste. 